you're inevitably going to come into some sort of, you're into confrontation with people who don't want people to be honest with them. They don't want honesty. Well, starting with the British government. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> but, but the idea... I mean, I've picked sort of... some really good targets over the years. Yeah, yeah. But also, that you think that there's something like creative about getting difference going. I mean, about you know, like if you if you if you when you're working with people, when you're working with people in the sex business, you seem you, you it's say, a stirring and a sharing of ideas, yeah. and you should never ever be frightened uh, of debate and, and argument. And those are very very healthy things. Uh, my 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 friends, my group of friends. I mean, they disagree with me on many things. Some of them bitterly and completely opposite to me. But I love their honesty and I love their belief and I love them because they're my friends and they'll tell me the truth as they see it. That's a very good thing because occasionally you can learn from that and, and you will be able to correct your own mistakes. It's a very, very decent thing and, and it's a cleansing thing too to know when you've done something wrong without knowing, because I wouldn't be wrong like willingly, and, and, and to be able to change that little trait in my character. You know, like being greedy with drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But when, it, with, it, within the sex pistols, you, there were arguments going on, you know, this, that, a lot going off between you. I mean, for example, working now with, with, with Pill, there is, is there the same, you, you want the same degree of difference? Because you, you wrote the... Well, we were very young in, in the pistols, really, and uh, kind of unprotected from the realities of life in that way. I mean, we're all from, you know, working class backgrounds. What do we know about showbiz? Um, we just enjoyed writing songs and, and, and having fun that way. And, and at the same time, the band kind of resenting the fact that I didn't sing like everybody else. Um, and not understanding the lyrics I was writing. But uh, apart from that, you, you had a management there who wasn't giving us any useful information about how things really operate. And maybe he was guessing himself half the time, but it felt like he was uh, going for scandal more than content. And that's when me and the Malcolm would come to blows over that. And the band would tend to be sided with Malcolm because somehow or the other he'd con them into thinking he was their friend while spending their money. Uh, many, many different issues, but somehow or the other through all of that, we wrote some damn excellent songs. I learned how to write songs, and I learned that being a writer, which was an ambition of mine when I was young, wasn't good enough. That the written word with music opened up so many more textures and explained so many more emotions. And I, and I progressed, I think, from the, the pistols to pill. That I wasn't just attacking institutions and, and arguing for the disenfranchised, which are all worthy things to do but exploring my own self inside and, and what made me angry, what made me happy. And, and dealing with, with things in a very personal way. The death of my mother in Deaf Disco, that, that song, that's a breakdown and, and almost die cry live, that song. Just to read the words of it, the silence in your eyes, that stuff. I mean, I know, yeah. But but, you know, in the death of my father two years back, um, so then when I perform it live, I, I've got both of them in my mind. And so the song shifts emphasis live. It's, we never play exactly like the record. If you want that, buy the record. Live, you must be able to experiment inside the emotions. And Pill right now is exactly the right kind of band for that. You said